Hi Scorpio, this is your bonus tarot reading for this month. We'll have three separate spreads in this reading. In the first spread we'll look at what you urgently need to know right now and uh, it could be about pretty much anything, whatever comes up. Then in the second, the advice spread, we'll see what's recommended for you in this situation. And uh, spread number three will be the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. So here's what you urgently need to know right now, Scorpio. We have the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and uh, the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, uh, we'll say Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. Well, this spread could be interpreted as both work, business, and finances, and love. <laughs> or love. It strikes me more like a work-related, business-related, and that's what I'll focus on, because we have mostly pentacles, well, I mean the, the uh, six and the knight of pentacles on the table, right? Then we have the emperor. The emperor, in this case, is a boss figure, okay? So, um, I think you have an offer coming your way, or you could be chosen, you could be selected for something, all right? And uh, I think they're really determined to get you on board. Right. The Emperor, like I said, it could be a boss figure, it could be somebody who is in charge of hiring, or it could be a manager, um, it could be a recruiter who is uh, coming your way, or if you already work for a company, maybe it's, um, maybe it's a boss from another department. <laughs> Right, uh, because you're being, I think you're being chosen. Right, if you're, if you've been applying for jobs, right, uh, they chose you uh, out of perhaps multiple candidates. Right, because we have the Six of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Swords. The Six of Pentacles often comes through as a card of a choice, because we have one person standing up, standing in the middle, and two people kind of sitting down, and the person standing up is making a choice. The Ace of Swords, clarifying that, yeah, is the word yes. The Ace of Swords is a very decisive energy. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, people are cl crystal clear what they want or whom they are choosing, in this case. And uh, with the Eight of Wands, the next card I came out, they're going to communicate it to you. The Eight of Wands is one of the fastest cards in the deck. It's a card of communication. It could be a card of negotiation, by the way, back and forth. Um, or it could be a card of travel, perhaps... You know, somebody wants to see you. <laughs> you may have to travel or this person could be in town and they want to talk to you about this, right? Perhaps um, you work for a company with multiple offices and the, your boss or this boss uh, is in another office and they're going to be visiting and they want to talk to you. So, you know, whatever, whatever the case. Here comes that eight of wands, and it's immediately followed up by the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, when it comes to work, business, and finances, which I believe this spread is actually about, like I said, it's the night that you want to see, right? It's the most financially abundant night out of all four nights. Also, the most, uh, I guess, long-term oriented night. So this, the the Emperor will present you with that Knight of Pentacles offer, and it's a serious offer. Okay, definitely worth considering. <laughs> Perhaps you're being promoted and you could become the emperor, all right? You could become the emperor, you could become a boss, and uh, maybe you're like a uh, team lead now and you could become a director <laughs> or a manager, all right? Um, yeah, let's take a look at the um, advice spread real quick. So here's an advice for you, Scorpio, for uh, what we saw in the previous spread. We have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. Uh, we also have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Here's the deal, Scorpio. If you do accept this, uh, there is no going back. If you do move forward with it, you may have to burn the bridge or two. All right. Perhaps this person who wants to hire you, they work for a competitor, right? <laughs> or, or perhaps the company you work for, they have really high hopes for you that you will stick around. They count on you, or something like that. Yeah. Because if you do accept it, first of all, yeah, like I said, you will have to burn this bridge. They're not going to be happy about you leaving, all right? But at the same time, it will, it may, you know, pay up in a big way moving forward, all right? <laughs> there is no major kind of cards on the table, so you do what you think is right in this case. But um, yeah, let's talk about this real quick. We start with the Five of Swords clarified by the Eight of Cups, and we also have that Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So the those are not pretty, <laughs> pretty cards, 
all right? Not, not energetically speaking, right? With the Five of Swords, it's never pretty. It's always ugly with the Five of Swords. It is a kind of like an ugly separation, all right? And uh, the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck is a kind of an abrupt ending, all right? So when you do break the news to your existing boss, in your existing company, maybe your existing business partner, right? Uh, it's not going to be a pretty scene. All right, it's not going to be pretty. They're not going to be happy about it, okay? The Eight of Cups, I find the Five of Swords is a card of somebody leaving, so this is you leaving, okay? However, with the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, <laughs> this is where that new uh, offer comes in, right? The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration, cooperation, and this card often translates into, you know, a group of people getting together and doing something together, working on something together. So this is your new workplace, new business partnership or something like that. And the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, it is a golden opportunity, right? And uh, the Ace of Pentacles, it's, it's kind of similar to the Knight of Pentacles that we saw in the previous spread. It's very similar energy, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is the most financially abundant ace out of all four aces. But again, you see that pathway in the right bottom corner? Of that Ace of Pentacles, this is the pathway you have to walk through. So again, it goes back to this separation from your from what you have now is not going to be that easy for some of you, right? But uh, it will eventually pay off in a big way. So it's up to you. It's up to you. But just so you know, this is a bridge you're going to burn, and it's done. <laughs> it's it, you cannot uh, you cannot go back. All right, <laughs> so that's what I have for you so far. Let's take a look at the third spread real quick. So here's the next good thing that'll happen to you, uh, Scorpio, that'll at least put a smile on your face. We have uh, the Page of Wands, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the King of Pentacles. We also have the Sun and uh, the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, maybe a fellow water sign, Cancer, and a Scorpio, Pisces. We also have Leo on the table. So, um, yeah, I usually go with a court card if one shows up. So we got this King of Pentacles, clarifying the Knight of Cups. So that's the person you're going to be dealing with. So it could be an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but uh, they may also have water in their chart because <laughs> they're clarifying the Knight of Cups. So wa water, Earth, Earth, water. Okay. Um, and uh, the next good thing, I think it will put more than a smile on your face. I think you're going to be really happy about this, right? Because th there's just love written all over this, right? Love is definitely in the air. It all starts with a page of once clarified by the Three of Cups. So you got some kind of a party coming up. And uh, the page of once is either an, an invitation to go to a party or a reunion, or if you're already planning on going to some kind of an event or a party, that's where you'll meet this person, right? In this case, the page of wands, this is them starting, they're going to be flirt, they're going to flirt with you, <laughs> crack some jokes, right? The, the three of cups that I find uh, the page of wands is either a reunion or a party. Or, you know, it could be any event. It could be someone's birthday. Um, it could be a whole house party, <laughs> you know, it could be uh, some kind of an event, like a game show, concert, dancing, what have you. And that's where you, your paths with this King of Pentacles will cross, right? The Knight of Cups, by the way, is the most romantic, the most loving knight out of all four knights. And uh, the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck is the most loving ace out of all four aces. So whenever either one of those shows up, either the Knight of Cups or the Ace of Cups, I usually conclude that yes, there's definitely going to be a very loving energy. <laughs> when both of them show up, yes, this is simply a confirmation that there's uh, this person is going to have uh, like love for you right away out the gate. Uh, perhaps the Knight of Cups belongs to this King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups belongs to you, so it could definitely be mutual. And uh, the Sun right next to the deck, the last card that came out, it's the only major Arcana card on the table. And it's the happiest card in the deck. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, it could be love at first sight and it could, be def it could definitely be mutual. Right? Like I said, perhaps you're sharing those Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups, one per person. All right, and you're definitely sharing the sun card. With the sun card, people are usually also crystal clear about uh, what's going on, about how they feel, because it could be a card of clarity. So the universe is going to shed light on this. But at the same time, like I said, since it's the happiest card in the deck, yeah, perhaps 
Both of you are going to be like extremely happy. But the sound card people usually feel on top of the world. So it feels mutual. Just be on the lookout of some kind of parties, events. Um, I don't know. It could even be even like a, a new exhibit at the local museum. <laughs> people still go to museums. I, I, I do. All right. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, Scorpio, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing the rest of March.